Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 insane executions in Danganronpa. For this list, we're taking a look at the craziest, deadliest, and most brutal executions from across the Danganronpa games. In case you haven't played any of these enthralling games, here is a spoiler warning for you. And it's a very, very big spoiler warning. Which of these executions do you think was over the top? Share with us in the comments below. Number 20, Bye Bye Ouchies, Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Admittedly, Mikan's farewell is not the most impressive execution of the bunch. After getting found out and dragged off by Monokuma, she's strapped to a seemingly inconspicuous gurney before Monokuma comes running in with a sizable syringe and activates a... rocket? Arm? Yeah, we're not exactly sure how this plays into the whole lethal execution thing, let alone Mikan's moment of questionable ecstasy. It's an execution that's confusing in its logic, but its bizarre spectacle still fits with Danganronpa style. Eh, maybe we could just assume being launched into the stratosphere is what did her in. Number 19, Ultimate Annihilation, Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Killing Harmony had some really intense moments throughout the story. And while the final execution could have been a little bit better, what we got was still somewhat entertaining. With Sumugi revealed as the true mastermind, Ultimate Annihilation commences with our best robot boy, Kibo, going into killer Astro Boy mode and blowing the entire place into oblivion. Although the conniving cosplayer's death is the ultimate disappointment, seeing Kibo fly around and obliterate the place was still kind of cool. We even had a brief moment of sorrow in seeing him finish off the school grounds by self-destructing. Don't worry, Kibo. We'll never forget you. You'll always be our best robot son. Number 18, Excavator Destroyer, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. With how over the top and extreme the rest of the executions were in the first game, it was honestly a little underwhelming to see this. Then again, how else do you off an artificial intelligence program inside a laptop? As punishment for Chihiro's AI alter ego, Monokuma brings out a large excavator piloted by a beefier version of himself. The music is haunting, and the rapid fire smashes of the machine kind of make it hilarious to watch. Clearly, Monokuma wanted to be thorough, and the mark left on alter ego's remains leaves a haunting reminder as to who we were dealing with. Number 17, Blast Off, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Sure, the first execution we saw in the series isn't anything special compared to everything else we've seen, but for new players, the Blast Off execution helped set expectations for the remainder of the game. A man, whose identity is revealed much, much later in the game, is strapped inside of a rocket, blasted into space, and sent crashing back down. Upon opening the door, his bony remains collapse to the floor. It's a hell of an introduction to the series, showing how crazy the deaths will be while adding to the mystery behind Monokuma. Number 16, Spears of Gungir, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? One question most new players would ask early on is, why don't the students just trample this psychotic bear? They're bigger than him, they can take him on. Just stomp his face in. Well, the answer came up rather unexpectedly early on. Muku, I, I mean Junko, attempts to defy Monokuma, refusing to participate in the murder game, and even going so far as to stomp on him. 
What she forgot was one critical school rule. Do not harm the headmaster. To me, godly spear, Gunnier! Monokuma calls forth the spears of Gungir, and within seconds, Junko is no more. It was an execution done so quick that it reinforces how high the stakes have become. And there's even more meaning to it when you experience it a second time after knowing the plot twist later on. Why me? Number 15, Stampede, Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Part of what makes Danganronpa so great is its occasional irreverence to its own characters. Even if you're someone as cool as Gundam Tanaka, don't expect to go out in a blaze of glory. When Monokuma begins his execution with an animal stampede, our favorite animal breeder quickly draws up a protection circle in the sand. Though it seems as if Gundam succeeded, his fate is quickly met with horns and headbutts. And the whole execution reaches a touching end, with him seeing his Dark Davis of Destruction one last time before being carried into the afterlife by puppies, bunnies, and kittens. Aww. I'm sad now. Number 14, Cultural Melting Pot. Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. <laughs> there was always something off about Korakio, and when we outed him as the murderer, our suspicions proved accurate. Off to the execution he goes, and it's a very insulting one. First off, he's bound up and spun around before being dropped and cooked alive in a furnace. He doesn't even get a peaceful journey into the afterlife. Just as he reunites with his long dead sister, Monokuma appears with a bowl of salt, and both he and Korakio's sister begin dousing the guy's spirit out. Talk about adding insults to injury. Number 13, Forced Shutdown, Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Whereas Sumugi was given the easy way out via being suddenly crushed by a boulder, Junko suffered a more humiliating defeat. Or, at least, the AI version of herself did. Just when it looked like she had won, Junko is ambushed by Monomi and gets the living snot beaten out of her. The magical bunny... bear... thing flies around with rainbows and sparkles, rendering the giant digital Junko immobile before slamming her head down and shattering her with rainbow straps. It's arguably the most anime moment in the Danganronpa series, but honestly, we wouldn't have changed the way this played out. Number 12, Blast Off Second Ignition, Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Originally, we were going to put this lower on the list because of it being a somewhat recycled execution. However, it gets major points because of how Kaito managed to cheat Monokuma out of a death, which is something very, very few characters have been able to do before. Much like our mysterious man from the first game, Kaito is encased in a rocket and shot up to the depths of space. The difference here is that he's taken through the Earth's core and shot into space from the opposite side of the globe. Right before the descent, Kaito succumbs to his fatal illness, which made Monokuma upset that he was unable to off the ultimate astronaut himself. Number 11, After School Lesson, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. <laughs> It's arguably the most iconic execution out of all the ones in the franchise. It's a simple one, too. The victim sits at a desk on a conveyor belt while Monokuma lectures and mocks them. At the end of the belt is a massive steel block to crush them into smithereens. The execution is tense as the victim gets closer and closer to the end. 
and if you want to experience this heart-stopping moment for yourself, the Execution does make an appearance in the VR demo, Cyber Danganronpa VR The Class Trial. And guess who gets to sit through it? You. Number 10, The Burning of the Versailles Witch, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. What could be a more humiliating way to go out for someone as vile and manipulative as Celestia Ludenberg? Well, you put them through something like this execution. Celestia is tied to a stake and burned by a bunch of miniature Monokumas. Just as it looks like the ultimate gambler was going to be given a tragic and slow fate, Monokuma comes speeding in with a fire truck. Though it isn't to put the fire out, no. Instead, he plows the fire engine straight into the fire. And not only was the fire put out, so is Celestia. Number 9, Strand of Agony, Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Kirumi was one of the many characters we never wanted to see in an execution, and unfortunately, hers was incredibly brutal. Trapped between groups of protesters, Kirumi finds her only way of escape to be a thorny rope dangling from above. Even after lacerating her hands and going through massive saw blades, she somehow manages to make it to the top, but it isn't what she was expecting. The top is nothing more than a crude drawing, and she plummets to her death. It's a messed up way to go out, but we'd be lying if we said we didn't at least chuckle, especially after seeing Monodam shove Manosuke into Kurumi's landing. Number 8, The Cage of Death, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Old Mondo was always about living on the edge and being a man. Well, what could be more manly and macho than blasting through an electrified cage? For his punishment, Mondo is forced to go through the Cage of Death, a spherical container where he is sent off at incredible speeds as the cage is fried by four generators. All that's left in the end is the bike itself. So what became of the ultimate biker gang leader? Well, he has become butter. Perfect to use on some manly and macho pancakes, if I do say so myself. Number 7, The 1000 Blows, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. We have a feeling this execution featured way more than a thousand hits on the victim. Our ultimate baseball star, Leon Kuwata, was offed by the very sport he excels in. For taking Sayaka's life, Leon is taken through the 1000 blows, which is nothing more than a pitching machine gone haywire. The machine fires off baseballs at an assault rifle fire rate, and eventually Monokuma joins in and smacks a few heavy hitters of his own, and also at breakneck speeds. You don't need grotesque imagery to imagine the brutality of this one, folks, and the last shot of Leon's lifeless body is a very disturbing one. Number 6, Deep Fried Teru Teru, Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Honestly, Teru Teru had it coming to him. This dude may have been the ultimate chef, but he was also an ultimate creep. Strapped to a post, Teru Teru is left helpless as Monokuma fires missiles from a helicopter that contain various cooking ingredients. After being coated in eggs and breadcrumbs, Monokuma flies Teru Teru over an active volcano and burns the kid alive. When you really think about it, it only made sense for Teru Teru to become a delightful dish of tonkatsu. After all, he was a total pig. But how did his scarf not incinerate? Did anybody else get 
weirded out by that. Like, does that make any sense? No, just me? Okay. Number five, please insert coin. Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Our darling Chiaki deserved better than this. Her execution is still cool, though we might be biased because of the references. For this execution, Chiaki and Monami are put through a rather explosive experience. First, they're targets in a game of Monokuma's version of Space Invaders. Then, in their desperate attempt to escape, the maniacal bear chases them with an earth-shattering mechanical Pac-Man. It all comes to an end with a deadly game of Tetris, where the two are crushed by the various Tetraminos. Damn our nostalgia for taking over our sadness. This one was cool, but also sad. Number four, Wild West Insecticide. Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. Killing Harmony certainly took its executions with a more extreme approach, and one execution that encapsulates that was Gonta's. With the exception of the spaghetti western theme, it's a fitting end for the ultimate entomologist. Monokuma fires out mechanical hornets from a Tommy gun at a helpless Gonta. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the sidelines, Monophony is going through a bizarre pregnancy. From her stomach emerges a giant mutant hornet that proceeds to go after Gonta and finish him off. As if he wasn't dead enough, Monokuma busts out a flamethrower, roasting both the giant bug and the ultimate entomologist. Hey, you gotta be thorough. Number 3, One Woman Army, Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. This one was just totally badass. When she's found out, Peko Peko Yama is put to the test as the ultimate swordswoman. A horde of robot Monokuma samurai surround and attack her from all directions. Unbeknownst to her, Fuyuhiko tries to interfere, not wanting her to be taken from him. Sadly, his interference caused her to injure him. Just as she lets her guard down to care for him, one crony lands the fatal blow before the rest jump in. It's a tragic execution through and through, and the pain is still felt for the remainder of the game. Number 2, Der Floatze, Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. As the very first execution in the game, this was the one to set the tone for the rest of the executions in Killing Harmony. Our beloved Kaede is forced to endure what many consider to be the most brutal and violent execution in the franchise. With a rope around her neck, Kaede is strung up and dragged across a giant piano so that Monokuma and the Cubs can play a brief melody. <laughs> Done in by the constant strain, Kaede is shortly entombed within the piano's spiked cover, along with the obnoxiously loud Mono Kid, which, hey, no one's missing that one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Ultimate Punishment. Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In case you weren't sure just how crazy and out of her mind Junko was, well, this finale certainly made it clear. Distraught from her loss, Junko quickly becomes excited about her own execution, the ultimate punishment. This forced her to go through every execution we had seen in Trigger Happy Havoc. 
from Blast Off and a Thousand Blows to the Cage of Death and Excavator Destroyer. And it all caps off with the iconic after school lesson. The fact she managed to survive the others blows our minds. Seriously, how did she not turn into butter? In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.